Do you want to migrate your e-learning site from LearnDash to Tutor LMS? In this video, we'll show you how to migrate from LearnDash to Tutor LMS. Let's get started. So first, let's take a look at our website. Okay, so this is our LearnDash LMS website. We are using the Cadence theme for this uh, website. You can see these are our courses. And it's really a nice site. So let's scroll up and let's click on courses. So you can see that we have some courses over here. Um, let me show you how the courses look. Let me click on this particular course that is building an SEO foundation. Okay, so this is a demo course. Here you can see this is the course and the course description and the course content. Here you can see um, the first section says introduction to SEO. And here are some of the lessons. Okay, so in this particular lesson, we also have a quiz. If we expand it, you can see this is a quiz. If we click on it, you can see this um, initiates the quiz and we can start the quiz by clicking on this button. Okay, so let me show you this course from the back end. So let me go to my dashboard. And from here, we're going to click on Learn Dash Courses. And here we are going to click on Builder from Building an SEO Foundation. Okay, so this is the Learn Dash Course Builder. Here you can see the sections are over here, and this section has these following lessons. Okay, and here um, this particular lesson also has our quiz, as you can see. Okay, so let me show you how many questions we have in this quiz. So I'm going to click on Edit. And here this is the quiz title, some quiz description. So if we click on the Builder, here you can see we have three questions in this quiz. So the first question is a single choice. If we expand it, you can see this is the question and these are the options and this is the correct answer. And if I click on this question, which is a fill in the blanks, you can see we have the question and the answer. And the third question is matrix sorting. Okay, so this is our question. So the first two questions, the single choice and the fill in the blanks, are present in Tutor LMS as well. But matrix sorting, we might expect this not to migrate to Tutor LMS. Okay, but we're going to see what happens after we migrate. Okay, so let's go back to our dashboard. Okay, so um, let's click over here. Before proceeding, take a full backup of your website. This will help if anything goes wrong during the migration. We have a detailed tutorial on how to backup a WordPress website. You can find its link in the video description. Okay, so in order to migrate from Learn-LMS to Tutor-LMS, you need a few things. First, you need to ensure that you're using the latest version of Learn-LMS and you're using the latest version of Tutor-LMS. You need both of those plugins active. And also, to migrate, we will need the Tutor LMS migration tool. So first, let's install the free version of Tutor LMS. So we're going to hover our mouse over plugins and click on add new plugin. From here, we're going to search for Tutor LMS. Okay, so you can see the plugin is over here. We're going to click on install now. All right, the plugin has been installed. Now let's click on activate. Okay, so our Tutor LMS has been installed and activated. And you can also see a notification over here appeared that says Learn Dash LMS has detected other active LMS plugins which may cause conflicts. Tutor LMS. This is natural as you're using an LMS site and you're using two LMS plugins which will conflict each other. So you need to have only one enabled. But since we are migrating from Learn Dash LMS to Tutor LMS, you need both of these active in order for the migration to work. Okay, you can actually migrate from Learn Dash LMS to Tutor LMS using the free version of Tutor LMS, but we would recommend using Tutor LMS Pro for migration because the premium features of Tutor LMS is only available in Tutor LMS Pro and some advanced features such as the certificates will not be transferred using the free version. Okay, in that case, Tutor LMS Pro is essential. You can download Tutor LMS Pro from the link in this video's description. So uh, we're going to use Tutor LMS Pro. So to do that, we're going to hover mouse over plugins and click on add new. I've already got Tutor LMS Pro on my computer. And from here, we're going to click on upload plugin. And we're going to click on this choose file button to upload our Tutor LMS Pro. 
Okay, so we have uploaded the plugin. Now we're going to click on the Install Now button. All right, so Tutor LMS Pro has been installed. Let's activate it. Okay, so we have installed and activated Tutor LMS Pro, so that's great. So now we are going to install the Tutor LMS Migration Tool. Okay, so this is a separate plugin, which is from Themium, the same developers as Tutor LMS. So we're going to go to uh, Plugins and add new plugin. And we're going to search for the plugin over here. As you can see, the plugin is over here, which is Tutor LMS Migration Tool by Themium. So we're going to install this by clicking on this button. And we're going to click on Activate. Okay, so the plugin has been activated. Okay, so we have all the tools that we need to migrate from Learn-LMS to Tutor LMS. Please note, during the migration, the Learn Dash courses will be removed from the Learn Dash course listing menu. They will be transferred to Tutor LMS course listing. Also remember, if you don't have section headings in your Learn Dash course, the lessons may be migrated into one single topic in Tutor LMS. So remember to organize your Learn Dash course using different section headings. However, there still might be some server related issues. So keep a backup of your website and stay prepared for every potential scenario. So to begin the transfer, first we're going to go to Tutor LMS Pro and over here we are going to click on uh, Tools. And from here we are going to click on this Learn Dash Migration. Okay, so if you do not see this tab over here, that means you do not have um, Learn Dash LMS activated. So ensure that Learn Dash LMS is activated. Also ensure that you have the Tutor LMS Migration Tool installed and activated. Okay. So if I click over here, you can see this is the migration tool. Here are two tabs, auto migrate and upload file. Okay. So before we proceed, let's take a look at the Tutor LMS migration documentation. This will give us an idea of what we can expect to migrate and some best practices. Okay, so this is Themium's documentation. If we scroll down, you can see uh, the prerequisites are over here. And over here, they are telling you which data will be migrated. So here you can see that courses, which is Learn Dash courses and all that entailed will be transferred to Tutor LMS. This also includes lessons, quizzes, etc. Okay, so courses, users, sales data, order data, course enrollment records, all of these will be transferred to Tutor LMS. Also, uh, your all e-commerce products and related data will be transferred to Tutor LMS along with all the reviews. Okay, and for migrating the e-commerce data, so if you're using WooCommerce or Easy Digital Downloads, first what you have to do is install Tutor LMS, install and activate the Tutor LMS migration tool, then set WooCommerce as the current monetization option for Tutor LMS and then run the migration. So we're going to show you how this is done. Okay, so from here, what we are going to do is from Tutor LMS, we're going to click on settings. And from here, you can see the monetization option is over here. So we're going to click over here and here you can see select e-commerce engine. From here, we're going to select WooCommerce and we're going to click on save changes. If you're using EDD with LearnDash, then you need to select EDD from here. Okay, so since we have WooCommerce, for our LearnDash LMS site, we are going to select WooCommerce as the e-commerce engine. So let's go back to the documentation again. After this, you can see there's another um, point over here that said certificates will be auto-generated. So this is also an interesting feature. So if you have the Tutor LMS certificates add-on enabled, it's going to auto-generate the certificates from your LearnDash courses. And this is the reason we need Tutor LMS Pro. So let me show you. So from here, we're going to click on add-ons. And these are the Tutor LMS add-ons available only in Tutor LMS Pro. So for certificates, we're going to scroll down. And here you can see this is the certificate add-on. So we're going to enable it. So in this case, now if we do the migration, our LearnDash LMS certificates will be auto-generated in Tutor LMS. Okay. So after this, we are going to go back to tools and now we can start our migration. Okay, so we're going to click on this Learn Dash migration tab. Of course, it is also recommended that you back up your website in case anything goes wrong. Okay, here you can see there's an option to back up your Learn Dash LMS courses. If you click over here, it's going to download an XML file for your Learn Dash courses. So you can do that and 
If you want to do the manual migration, you can click on this upload tab and click on this browse file and upload the LearnDash LMS courses XML file. After that, you can click on the migrate now button and it's going to migrate all your LearnDash LMS courses to your tutor LMS courses. But we are going to use the auto migrate which is much easier. So we're going to just simply click on this button. Okay, and this will migrate all of our LearnDash LMS data to Tutor LMS Pro. Okay, so once you're ready, you can just simply click on this migrate now button. And then it's going to show you this message. So you can click on yes, let's start button to confirm. Okay, as you can see, our migration is complete. And here it says migration successful. Okay. So our migration is successful. Now our LearnDash courses have been moved to Tutor LMS. Okay, so we can click on go to dashboard button. And over here, you can see our courses have migrated. So building an SEO foundation, this was our course. So if we take a look at it here, you can see the three topics, 14 lessons and one quiz. All of these were transferred. Now let's edit it. So we're going to click on the settings over here. And now let's click on edit. Okay, so this brings us to the back end. Now, if we scroll down, you can see our sections have been converted to topics and it's been added over here. So if we expand this section, here you can see our lessons have transferred along with our quiz. Okay, so if we take a look at our quiz, so let's click on this quiz. Okay, so our quiz uh, title, summary, all were transferred. Now let's click on save and next button. And here, this is an interesting thing. You can see we have two questions over here, the single choice and the fill in the blanks. But our third question, which was the matrix sorting question, it did not transfer. So if we edit one of these questions, so from here, we're going to click on edit. You can edit any question here if you want. Okay, so let's close this up. And now let's actually see how our course looks from the front end. So from here, we're going to go to our website. And from here, we're going to hover over course and click on building an SEO foundation. And from here, we can scroll down and you can see all our lessons, our sections transferred perfectly and the quiz transferred as well. Okay. After you're done, now we can disable the LearnDash plugin. So let's go back to our dashboard. And from here, we're going to go to plugins. And then we are going to deactivate our LearnDash LMS plugin. Also, we can disable the LearnDash licensing and management. Okay, so now this notification should go away and you can work on your Tutor LMS site. So that is how you can migrate from LearnDash to Tutor LMS using the Tutor LMS migration tool. We hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, give this video a like. Subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos. Okay, till the next video. See you. Take care. Bye.